Oh, that was before the governor. No, that was when they were trying to practice the right one. Alright, today. And the money on that one. Okay. We're going to play a couple games. we got a couple different things. Uh, this is going to be my first one. Uh, talk about it because I want to see how well you guys can uh, figure this out. So, we're going to go back to that original game I had up here yesterday before the bell went off because we didn't finish it. You know, I, I just kind of gave you an example. Uh, but... Do you already know you? Yeah. Oh. Alright. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 9. Uh, we should get a camera that edit, edits out our voice so that you can't hear us speaking through the... I know! Yeah, that'd be a little hard. Uh, what I'd have to do is probably wear like a microphone and then just kind of volume you know on. those things that go? Oh, thank Microphone? Yeah, the microphone. Yeah. It's connected to my phone. Totally. Oh, no, I mean like the, like the really less expensive oh, yeah. the ones that work really good. Yeah. Or you know, if you get headphones. Yeah. Yeah, people, some people do that. They use like their headphones. Actually, they, that's not a bad idea. I could they have their phone. Also. They have their phone really close to the camera. Yeah. So when that person speaks, that's what a lot of like um, amateur. That's cool. Like, that. That's really clever. Yeah. Like that. on pranks, you have one person in the in the back with the camera, the phone, and then you'll call. The person will pick it up with the headphone, and they'll they'll speak through the headphone, and it'll be in the camera. Okay. So, all right, we're gonna play a game here. Um, this is the let's make a deal kind of game. Yeah. Uh, there's one suitcase that has the ace. So this is gonna be your million dollar suitcase, right? All right, so. Gold bars. Okay, sure, gold bullion, yeah. All right, so here's the idea. How many cases do we have? We have 10. 10, okay, there's 10 exactly across. So when we do a fraction, there's 10 cases, that's the bottom number. That's, that's, the, that's the, you know, the set we can pick from. What one. is your option of winning? There's one. one. There's one option of winning. This is terrible percent. What I mean by terrible, on your calculator, take the top number, divide by the bottom number, and tell me the decimal. Ten. It's going to be zero point something. So one divided by ten. Zero point one. Okay. Now, um, to figure this out, how you figure out what your percent is, you move this decimal over two spots. Yeah, ten percent. Ten percent. That's that's the way it works, and it's not based on this number here. It's just when you move over, if there's no number there, you can put zeros. This is 10%. 10% is terrible. That's way bad. Well, okay? No. That's how this game, like when they do Let's Make a Deal or Deal or No Deal with Howie Mandel, there's 20 suitcases up there. Or three. Or three. Yeah, so I mean, it's terrible odds of winning. What's good about Let's Make a Deal? What's that? that? You always win something. Like every person that always plays always goes home with something. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, you'll leave with whatever. Like, yeah. you, even if you have money, it's like something. Or right. like if it's like a terrible like um, thing, you still leave with it. Okay. Completely random. Am I now, going since I didn't go yep. yesterday? Yep. All right. So, Sam, since you're going here, what is your percent of um, getting the case off the first guess? One out of ten. Terrible, right? Ten percent. Pick a case, please. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be one. That'll be ten. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is. Oh yeah, the journal. Seven. Ten, seven cases. All right. So we'll leave that one where it's at. Okay. Now that means that means that the rest of the cases could be the million dollars. Yep. Okay. Now the odds of. The odds of losing now is this. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. There's nine cases it could have been in other than your one. Now, does that mean you automatically lost? No. Well, you got ten percent. Ten percent. You still it's not zero. You oh. have a percent of winning. It's not zero. That's the weird thing. You you actually have a chance of winning. I have no idea. I honestly don't. I just shuffled them randomly and threw them up here. Okay, I don't actually know what two cases it is. Okay, so now the chance of winning, I would like you to, or chances of losing, divide these two numbers. Divide these two. Did you know you have a better chance of winning the lottery if you have the zero point five dollar card on the so, so like a ninety percent? Ninety percent. Ninety percent chance of losing. There's no way I got it then. Okay, alright, now you do have ten percent. You still have some. So now, the weird thing is, how he does this, he he asks. Um, he asked for a cert certain suitcase. So we have one, two, three, four, but not number seven. Seven is one you picked. I'm going to leave it there. 
Pick a case. Any other case other than seven. Four. Four. Okay. And he reveals it. Okay. That was case number four. Now, here's the crazy thing. Your percent of winning has not changed. Even though how he revealed a suitcase to you. Your chances of winning didn't change. Because when you grabbed originally, how many cases were there? Ten. How many cases were the winning one? One. That is still your percent the entire time. Even though Howie is revealing the cases, your chances have not changed because you didn't get to re-pick. You're not getting to re-pick again, so your chances don't change. But here's the crazy thing. Was this the winning suitcase? No. So this is 0% being winning, right? It is. It's 0%. That is not the card that has the million dollars. That means the rest of these are still the million dollars. Could be, could be, because he could still have the winning one, but they are still 90% chance. The rest of the cards are still 90%. So as he reveals a case, the cases that are left are still 90% the real case. You have probably, in theory, chose the wrong one. Probably. Probably. Doesn't mean you didn't. I know, I know. Pick a different case. So you can see the answer. No, I just don't like it. Sometimes I can think like that. Um, nine. Nine. That's number nine. Nope. So this is zero percent, right? So, good choice, right? Huh? So, your chance of winning still hasn't went up. And this really confuses people. Like, well, I mean, the only part is it until it shows the exactly. So the thing is, and this is the part that people can't wrap their head around. Your chances of winning have not changed ten percent because you picked out of ten cases, you picked the first case. Okay, the other cards now, as we're revealing, the cards that are left are ninety percent the million dollars. There's only what seven cards second. left. Choose one of the cards. Seven the cards. Seven. Okay, pick. So you can't pick four, you can't pick eight nine, cards left. and you can't pick number seven. Eight cards left. Eight cards left. Oh, but you can't pick his number seven. It's technically seven cards. Yes, but there's eight. Eight. Yeah. Seven. Thank you. Yeah. Six. I was actually going to pick that one. Six. Six. What is this one? Number six. And. <laughs> I knew he was right next All right. to it. So, <laughs> I would, I would this, I like how I this that was too. the million dollars, right? Now, that meant. If that was the million dollars, this was all 100% the correct one. This one was 0%, um, even though you had a 10% chance of winning. It wasn't until they revealed it. Okay. Uh, that's you. Like, hey, you only got one, two. <laughs> hey, you still went home with so, All right, yeah, you still go home with that. Yeah, all right. even if you now, try and you still go okay. home with your consistency. This is what really messes with people, uh, that when you're playing that game, um, when you're playing that game, Howie gives you at the very end, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna leave the million dollars laying up there. Okay, I'm gonna leave the card that you picked. Okay, mm -hmm. which was close, and I was guessing it, it, I bet you two bucks that one of the cards right next to seven that was gonna be it. Pretty pretty close actually. So all right, so here's the idea. When Howie does this game, he does this some, something very interesting. A lot of people don't ever think about it. Is that at the very end, okay? So this is your two. I'm gonna put that back on. Two, okay? At the very end, Howie does this thing where he, he goes to the final and you reveal all the other cards. These are all the losing cards, right? They're not the million dollars. Yep. Okay? And you know, you reveal them all, and so like everyone's getting all crazy. I've only seen it like happen twice on that show ever, where you know the guy actually picked the came down to the last two. How he does this thing, he goes, do you want to switch your suitcase? Yeah, you switch your suitcase. The reason why is because even though mathematically, what was your chance of winning in the beginning? One. One out of 10. It was 10%. Close. 10%, right? This card, even though Howie has revealed all the others, this is whatever's left, because these are all 0% chances. This is 9 out of 10 chances of being the winning card. Even though he's revealed them all, if you have 10% that this is going to be it, this is 90% chance. Because these numbers have to add up with yours, what you picked originally, to make 100%. We should watch the show. 
Yeah, it's interesting, right? Watch him and see who wins. So, yes, or and then, the person who wins. So, so what they do on the show is, you know, he allows you to switch. You always switch because 90% of the time, this is when you get just a million dollars. Some people don't because you have the 10%. They like to gamble a little bit, but mathematically, you should always Game switch the case. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Now, this is different than playing most card games. Okay, most card games like poker and whatnot. Because you have to think about too many options. There's too many things you have to think about. What could beat you, what's out there, what cards have already been played. And you can't see all the cards. Um, you can only see you know, you know the that. five that are in yours and other, and other things. But there's other games we can play. You know that one game where they have the ball and they spin it and you have to go higher or lower? It's like in a, it's actually at a casino. Oh, the roulette pick. Yeah, that's that, the one. Do you know what's funny about the game is that they actually rig it. Exactly. So like if you're on a really good roll, they'll be, they'll be like, if you say higher, and then they'll be like, okay, let's put it on lower. Okay, so let me let's talk about roulette because in fact that was the next one we were going to talk about. Well, the roulette. I would be the good. roulette table. Now, if you walk home and tell your parents I'm teaching on gamble, that is not the purpose of today. They talk <laughs> about the math that's involved. Is it okay? math gambling? It is not. Gambling is when you're actually betting money. Not that you can't use math for gambling. I will show so. a lot of videos. I bet you a lot of people that are good at math. No, they at least try. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me pop it up here on the board here. Okay. All right. Okay. I bet you got a gamble. Um, the, the actual casino, the house player, has a little ball, they hold it right against the edge, they drop it, and this whole metal circle in the middle spins. spins. But it, has a, it just spins randomly. The, um, the actual gentleman that's there just spins it, so it's completely random, it's not motorized, there's nothing connected to it. Um, and the idea is that the ball bounces around because there is raised little levels here, and eventually the ball will settle into one of these little grooves. Okay? And the grooves, now I know it's a terrible picture, the grooves have numbers. Okay? Now, if you're looking at this, what colors do you see? Red, green, red, green. green. Okay. Yeah. There's only greens here and over here across from each other. Okay? There's only two greens. The green numbers are zero and double zero. Okay? That's it. Everything else is black and white. Or, sorry, black and red, I should say. Black and red. Now, how this game works. You bet on a certain space. So you go up here, you can bet, and this is the table that's out in front of you, you can put chips down on a certain place out here, and this is how the game works. You can bet on red or black. You can bet on green, wherever green's at. Green's over here. Okay? Um, and what they do is they give you money um, for, if you're correct, in a certain spot. So what I mean by that is that let's say we bet red. Okay, so you, a lot of people just do that. They just do black and red. So you put your chips on red. Okay. Well, that means when you bet red and the ball lands on red, they pay you double of what you bet. So if you bet, let's say you bet five dollars, right? That's the most. That's no, That's most denominations. When you bet five dollars, they give you ten dollars. So they'll slide ten dollars. So it's the five you originally bet plus five more. Right? You won double your money. Right? So. If you get it wrong, they just take your $5, you're done. Okay, you can go bet again somewhere else. Um, but here's the thing. They have the numbers out here. There is, I think the numbers, uh, 1 through, I think it's 1 through 38. Yeah, it's 1, let's see. Yeah, 1 through 36. 36, 1 through 36. Okay, 1 through 36. This, here's the weird thing. This is not your chances of winning. Okay. It's not. 
because there's not 36 spaces. There's actually 38 spaces. And a lot of people will go, Ward, no, there's not. I see 38 yeah, out there. The, green. the greens. Everyone forgets about it. There's not 36. There's 38. Because you have to consider the two greens. And so your chances of winning, if you bet red, one, two, yeah. three, oh gosh. Wait, that's black. Yeah, so I'm one, two, sure. three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I thought nine, nine have to ten, roll eleven, up. twelve, nine. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, eighteen. I thought you had to roll a nine in this okay. game. Nope, no dice. Not in this what game. What game is that? That's uh, craps. Okay, we'll talk about that one next. So, on this game, your chance of winning is 18 out of 38 if you bet, if you bet on red. Do the calculation. 18 divided by 38, please. So you're betting on red. You have uh, 47, 3, 6, 8, 4, 2, 47, 3, 7, 2, 3, 4. That's not bad. It's way higher than, way higher than the 10 we played earlier, Kelly Mandel. Right? Not bad. Right? But now, is it a 100% win? No. no, it's only 47. It's about half. A little bit less than half. Good chance. So that's what draws people in. They're like, ah, I got a good chance of winning. You have a good chance of losing, too. In fact, here's the crazy thing to think about. You actually have a better chance at losing. A lot of people won't think that way. You do. You have a better chance of losing this game than winning it. I know that seems really odd to people. It's actually 20 chances to lose. This is the losing, because you'll lose with the other 20 spots that are on that board. Now, now I know that you're thinking, well, Ward, if there's more chances of losing, why do people gamble? Yeah, I agree. Why do you know there's more, there's more uh, black spaces than there is red? Oh, uh, there's 18. There's exactly. Oh, there's, there's exactly. It's 18, 18, and 22. And it's kind of hard to see this. This, this board is weird. I've never seen one like that, where they scatter them a little bit. All right, now. That, that's roulette, right? That's a pretty easy game you can bet now. I know that some people, jeez. Throw this back up there. Nice background. Yeah, that's good. Nice for movies, man. Those are actually games. No, no games. Those are games. All right, um, but for this, um, a lot of people are like, well, why would anyone bet? You're only winning double. No, here's the weird thing. If you put a chip out here, like, and you bet on a specific number, they pay you seven times what you bet. And it, let's say it lands on one. Say it lands on one, and you bet on one. So let's say you bet five bucks again. They're going to pay you $35 just for betting. Okay? The problem is, it's one chance out of 38 spots. But isn't it if you put, if you, can't you bet on two, though? Like you can bet it? on any spot you want. Okay. You need to be evacuated almost. Okay. So, here we go. Let's talk about the game cracks here. So, on, does everyone have their chart with their numbers 1 through 6? Oh, no. no. Okay, write it down. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to show us why mathematically craps is the best game to play in a casino. Even though I don't need them. Go to a casino, but I'm saying this is the better game if you're going to go. Right the... This little chart right here, this thing. And 1 through 6, 1 through 6 going down. And you made the little grid. Once you have the grid, what I'd like you to do is in each of these boxes, I would like you to add the dice together. So what I mean by that, you're going to add the top, very top column and very left column together. A two. So that's a two. In the next column, you're going to add the very top one, the very left column. Three. So this is three. Because again, you're adding the top, top plus the very left side. So then the next one would be four. Next will be five, next will be six, next will be seven. And you gotta keep going.
You got all your dice added up? Almost. Okay. Take your time. Add your dice together. Or top left, top right. So you're going to add, okay, you got the first row. So then, yeah, so then this box, you're adding it left and the top one. But, uh, so that's three. All right, there you go. Yeah, you already got your row. Eric, you're still making your assessment. Mm. Once you have these figured out, we're going to talk about it. Probably be one of our last games today, anyway. Okay, you guys look at it, you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it just goes on from there. Yeah, I know. Go six columns over. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't need these columns. Okay. So let me just cross that scroll out. You don't need to erase it. You know what's weird for the seven? It just goes all the way down because that's seven. Okay. Yeah. That's our right Okay. Alright. Eric, can you keep going? You're fine. Okay. I see it now. So. That's weird. So. Sam, Stephen, since you guys are done, I would like you to count up your sevens, please. How many sevens are on your chart total? Six. 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 Okay. Six is the top number. That's your, that's the number. That's how many sevens you can win with. There's six of them. How many total numbers are on the grid? Like all overall. Overall, total numbers on the grid. So. The ones I've written in black, not the outer numbers on the outside but How many total numbers are in this grid? Um, thirty-six. Thirty-six. Oh, total numbers. Not total numbers. numbers. There's, you're not going to add up each number. But you, take the, you go down yeah, six, six, and then you go back up and do six times six. Six times six. So, your chances of winning on the first roll is six out of thirty-six. So six, can somebody do the calculation? Wouldn't there be? would it be six out of thirty-eight? No, thirty-six. Oh, only that's what's the calculation? calculation? Six over thirty-six. Six divided by thirty-six. Tell me the percent. Zero point one. I mean, a bunch of sixes and a seven out there. So Maybe this, 17 percent. Yeah, 16.6 percent. Yeah, which is about 17. 17 percent. You're going war, war. You told me this is the best game to play in the casino. 17 percent chance of winning. You're like war. What are you telling me? You set me up for failure here. It's only 17 percent. That's terrible. It's way less than failing. But that's your chances of winning. Still not good. You're like war. You haven't justified it yet. This is your chances of losing. How many twos, elevens, and twelves are on the chart? One. Two. One. There's one, one. two. There's, There's two elevens and a twelve. So how many total spots can you lose with? Four. Four. Four out of thirty-six. What's four divided by thirty-six? Eleven. Eleven percent chance you'll lose. This is your win, that's your lose. It is the only game in the casino you have a better chance of winning than losing. This is it. You're seeing it right now in front of you. It's the only game of the casino that you will win more than you will lose. Now, will I say it's a guarantee? No, because what was your chance of winning? 17%. You're like, well, word, you just told me it's the best game to play at the casino. 17% versus 11, those are better odds of winning. But, Stephen, you asked me the question. What was the question you asked me earlier about this game? Because I told you about, you know, you lose with two eleven or twelve, or you win with a seven. Like you can only uh, have a seven, and how do you get the two? Okay. Like you roll a two and like a six. Or yeah. What happens anytime you roll threes, uh, fours, fives, sixes, eights, nines, or tens? What happens then? You don't lose. You just keep rolling until you do lose. Okay, so now here's how the game works, and you're thinking, Ward, if my chance of losing is that low, why do people play it? 
Like, why don't more people just play that game like casino? What's, what, what the point what's the catch? There is a catch to this game. So, Steven, you get to experience this for the first time. Roll. Mm -hmm. oh. roll, it. roll against the wall. You have to hit the far wall. Boom. That was a perfect roll. Hopefully. Roll a seven. You instantly won. You won. Dang. Instantly. Yeah. Now, if you win, here's the crazy thing. They just give the dice again. Say, make your new bet. No, I so, no, whatever you bet, you just won double. Okay? So, they ask you to bet. So now, the game has started over, because you just won, right? Yeah. The game starts all the way over again. Roll. Ooh, that's a crazy roll. Why are you winning again? Still spinning. Oh, that's cool. One, no, I actually got a nine. Did you lose? No. No. He didn't win either, right? Again. So, he's going to roll again. You haven't lost, you haven't won. They don't hand you your money back, and you, they don't take your money either. Well, okay. obviously, they're not going to take the money. Yeah, the they're money is still on the table. But here's the problem. What did you roll? I rolled a nine. You rolled a nine. You didn't roll a seven, so you didn't win. Yeah. And you didn't lose. But here's how the game changes now. You're going to keep rolling. You will keep rolling. I'm going to hand you the dice, but you haven't won, you haven't lost. But now you have to go for a nine now. Uh -oh. Yeah, but here's the problem. You will lose if you roll a seven from now on. Okay, so let's talk about this. You just rolled a nine. Yeah. How many nines are up here? Uh... Four. four chances out of 36. What's four divided by 36? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I just had, I had the same chance of losing that. Exactly. Okay, so you're not at 11. You will lose now with the 7, 2, 11, or 12. So this oh. is how the game works. After the first roll, if you don't roll a 7 like you asked me earlier, You'll lose with basically every other number. But it's got to be 2, 7, 11, or 12. So there was 2s, there's one of them. There's two 11s, there's a 12, so that's 4. And then the, then the 6, the, uh, the six sevens. So we're up to 10 chances out of 36 that you're going to lose. What's 10 divided by 36? That's 20, uh, 28. 28% change you're going to lose now. The first roll is the most devastating. You have to win on the first roll. Because after that, they take all the sevens away. Because the seven is the easiest number to roll. But after the first roll, they take it away. So you keep winning on that. You can keep rolling all day. Now, you haven't lost, right, yet? No, not yet. Okay, they're going to hand you back the dice. And they say you're, they call this the point number. Your point number is nine. You have to roll a nine to win. If you don't roll a nine, if you roll one of those numbers, you lose. But if you roll any other number, like let's say you roll a six, you haven't lost yet. Eight. Did you lose? No. No. So did you roll a two, eleven, seven, or twelve? Right. Uh, so but your point number. What was the number you rolled earlier? Nine. Nine. You have to roll for that. Even though you just rolled an eight, that number you rolled the first time is your new number you have to roll. <gasps> so he hasn't lost. Oh, God damn. 11, you just lost. Okay? <laughs> All right, Eric, you're up. After I just got done. Okay, so what do you want to roll in the first roll? I don't know. What's the first? Seven. Seven. Seven gives you the best chance of winning. So if you don't roll a seven, you technically didn't lose unless it's a two, 11, or 12. Good roll, hits the wall. That's a 12, you just lost. You lost. If you rolled a two, 11, or 12, you just lost. Okay, Sam, you're up. Okay. So what's the roll you got to do on the first one? Seven. Seven. Seven will make you win on, on the game of traps. Roll it. Has to hit the wall. Mm. Oh, it hit the wall, right? Jeez, these bounce far. Yeah. One. Three. Two. So you got to roll the three. You didn't lose, right? Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't yeah, roll a two, eleven, and seven. Oh, yeah, or you didn't roll a two, eleven, or twelve, right? But you didn't win because you didn't roll a seven. So now, how many chances of a threes are there on that chart? On your chart? Two. You're on. Two, how many? Threes, because you roll a three, right? So how many threes are on the chart? Two. Two out of 36 are going to win this game. Not good. Oh. <laughs> you haven't lost yet. You can still win this. Roll again. You only have a 5% chance of winning. 5%. Five percent. Five percent. One. One and a Please one. Go. You just lost. You rolled the same, guys. Okay. And actually, I would say you had a 6% Snake eyes. One and one. All right, I'm going to go. OK, I'm going to roll. So you gotta roll a seven. He's gonna look good at this. Yeah, sure. oh. Seven. Hey. Okay. 
Let's go again. So the game starts over. Everyone's making their bets. Dice again. Three. Didn't lose. Thought I didn't win. So my chance was just like Sam's earlier. Five percent chance. It was there was two chances of me rolling a three right now, but I have to try to roll for a three. Four. Four. Six. That's ten. I didn't lose yet. But I'm still, damn it, I'm still trying to roll for Although the number, the number three. I was really close. Cool. What if you get a three? Roll the nine. I haven't lost yet. Because oh, I didn't roll a seven. Weird two or twelve. What? That was a weird, that was a weird thing that you did with your hand. You like, let them slide out this way. Six. Oh, twelve, you lost. Twelve, lost. <laughs> so, my turn. Okay. Do you see how this game can be kind of fun? Yeah. The problem is... We've only, in all of our experience, we've rolled four times now. Only one person has won this game. No, two. So you won. Yeah. Oh, the first, that's right. I won one out of all those rolls I did. Gonna roll again. Gotta get a three. Get a three. Good. You won one on the first roll. You're lucky on the first one. Yeah, I'm doing good. Now, let's see if you can do it again. Is there like a lucky spot up there? I guess he's just got, he's found the spot. Four. He didn't lose. Yeah, lose. You have to roll four. You have to roll a four because it's your point number. Now here's the cool thing I can see now. When when you roll and you roll a four, this number on the table is now glowing. It's really cool. Like you didn't notice it before because you thought it was felt. It's now pulsating and it's glowing over the whole table. That's and it's really number? cool because yeah, the four is like getting bigger and it's like everyone knows that's your number. It's awesome to watch it. Four and a didn't lose. Because oh. what are you trying to roll for? Four. Four. You didn't roll a four. Four like a good number? Nah. Why I mean, did it glow? Uh, because um, when, you, when you roll your point number, because it wasn't a seven, these numbers glow. Oh. So. Three. Dude, you haven't lost yet. Dang, dude. He hasn't lost, but everyone else is making bets that I think they're going to lose. The funny thing is, you bet against them. Ten, you haven't lost yet. Oh, one more, one more. One more, one more. All right, here we go. Three, four. Three, haven't lost yet. <laughs> All right, we'll continue. Game's afoot. We'll continue. Did I lose? Not yet. No, you won. You haven't won, right you haven't lost either. No, no, Steve, you're winning right now. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. You, technically, you are destroying all of us right now in this game. I you're pretty much the luckiest person I've ever seen. You're going to win at every game we play in this. Class. That would be a good game. Yes, we would. You're the luckiest roller I've seen yet. I almost don't want to play the next game we're going to do tomorrow. What's the next game? Uh, I don't want to tell you yet. Why? Because right now you're good.